Hey guys, how you doing? How you doing? Uncle Craig here on the Bond Knock. And yes, I still have COVID. Still testing positive. I hope it's not the uh, long COVID, as they call it. But it's, it's been long. It's been long, well, longer than my wife. But of course, she's 13 years younger than me, so. But I thought I'd get out of the house and walk up to the end of my driveway here. It takes my breath away. By the time I get to the driveway and back, I'm probably exerted. I mean, I, I feel, you know, exhausted really. Mostly my breathing. I mean, if I if I try, I can you know seemingly take a deep breath, but my breathing is shallow, shorter. And if I exert myself, dude, I'm done. But let's come out here and check it out. We got one of our uncles. Another uncle out here, been out here the last few days and he's here to check it out. He's not here now, he left, but basically cutting down all the old rice grass that grows, the yah, and uh, basically cuts it all by hand and puts it up in his truck, hauls it away. He's going to be feeding is uh, feeding his cows, I imagine. Free food, I mean, we don't mind. You don't do nothing with this stuff. This stuff normally will get turned over into the, into the ground, you know, as we get ready for more rice planting. It gets tilled in, usually probably earlier, because this, this is getting pretty, pretty tall now. The weeds, the rice mixed in with the weeds. That's why it gets tilled in. But you can see here it's all been cut. And he does that by himself, man. And the guy's got uh he's got that back condition, you know, it's like a hunchback. Just old people stuff, probably been working rice his whole life. But you know, he enjoys doing it, so and he's very sprightly. This side still needs to cut I don't know if you can see it These, this tree line here is uh, another uncle and then there's another there's a mango tree line on the other side of his one rye going this way but the last few days like I can say I don't know if you can see you might be able to see the tops of the stumps looks like maybe one two three four five that guy's cut down like five big old ass mango trees big tree like that chopped them down I don't know what for. I imagine mango trees produce mangoes forever. But kind of cool though. The morning glory. Flowers run on both sides of this road all the way down. Kind of weird. This stuff, I wasn't too long ago, I think in a previous video, I, I bush cut this whole road. I, I cut this all the way down to the dirt using the saw blade on that bush cutter it's already grown back well we're drying out now the uh, the ponds are the water level in the ponds are getting lower which is of a concern because I mean we're putting more water you know run the we're running the fountain that I made in the other pond where the where the tilapia are and that and catfish but ow but this pond is uh, you know this first one is where the Mekong catfish are and the sawai and stuff and those are pretty big I mean, there's hundreds of them so with the water level being low that means the fish are getting crowded so I don't know, man. 
We're gonna have to do something about that here pretty quick. I'll show you. You can probably see in some of them other videos, but when you look at the pilings, you can see that watermark in the middle there. That watermark right in the middle, the water usually was above that water line, but that's kind of like the consistent water line. But now it's dropped below that. If I go over there and stand right there, I think I think that low water line right there or, or where the water is now will be below my chest. Like maybe between my maybe between my chest and my um, waist. So that's pretty bummer. I like those catfish to get real big, but you know the Mekong, but I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna be able to. I'm gonna probably have to snatch all them fish out of there if it, if the water levels keep dropping. The other pond is, even though even we put more water in it each day, it drains into the water table quicker. It appears to be anyway. Remember, this is our first year here, so we're getting to see like a full rotation of what happens in one year, and. Um, you know, it's good to know. We, the, the water's been okay since, you know, since we got here. And of course, rainy season, a little bit worried about it overflowing, but boom, as soon as those rains stop and we had a week or 10 days of sunshine, we get this. You can see the fish out there already. But over here, you can see from previous videos, that bank is fully exposed right there. That water was all the way up on there. It actually went up and over into the canal. I don't know if the video does it justice, but it uh, it's definitely a good meter lower than it should be. Or I said than, than it normally would be. And the lilies are still too much over there, man. Got too many lilies going. Dot's been out there. I told her each time she goes out in the boat to like feed fish or whatever, bring back a boatload of lilies. And she's been doing a lot of it, but I'm gonna have to, well, I can't do much right now. Even holding this camera up is starting to tire me out. Although what I did do today, one thing that I did was in the shop here, I brought the scalping up because I made that lentil, that cement lentil up here, the one that I put the rebar in this time. Damn it. Uh, anyway, I, I picked it up and I slid it up there and slid it over because you know it's gonna go up on top right and normally I would have I would have been able to just he-man that thing and you know and put the cement up there first and then quake that one end up and poo and then press it and poo, put that other one up there and been able to do that but I swear I I have I barely had the strength to you know seesaw that thing up and put it on top of the scaffolding i knew i'd need the scaffolding because now i can you know i only need to lift it up a little bit that far but even after lifting that and putting it up there my two legs were both like vibrating and shaking from you know lack of strength basically you know I'm definitely losing weight. Although I did take delivery today from, um, I, I ordered stuff from Villa Market for the first time, the one on Sukhumvit in Bangkok. And um, you were all the way up here in Kampang Pit. But I ordered from Villa Market just, not, not yesterday, but the night before. So it's really not even a day or whatever. And it delivered today. 
I basically just kind of did a test fly. I got a couple jars of salsa, paste picante, and a couple of uh, three cans of refried beans. You know, stuff that we're just not going to get up here. And um, what else? Oh, I, I, I bought some blueberry bagels. See how, see if they were actually real bagels. <laughs> and, um, and some Parmesan cheese because we, we tend to only sell these small little cans up here, little things that are not the Parmesan cheese. And, um, and then what else? Uh, it was, uh, oh, I bought a, a jar of ragu spaghetti sauce. There's plenty of that Italian spaghetti sauce up here, and we've been using that. But when I saw the ragu, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, let me get the ragu. We don't get that up here. We got macro, you know, and, of course, Big C and all that stuff and top supermarket here and stuff. But they don't have the, uh, they don't have a lot of stuff. And one of the things they don't have, because I've, I've looked, even asked, showed pictures, is salsa. Although Dot is actually the salsa queen. She's been making salsa since since I showed her how, I guess, you know, 20 years ago. But um, that's different, salsa. Anyway, so now I got them beans, tortillas. We do get tortillas up here. Um, I can make me some burritos. That should fatten me up a little bit. But I think I need to start doing leg lifts or something, man. My legs do not look good. It was bad enough that I injured my leg and then I took that, um, you know, took that hit with exercise, so to speak. I'm not working out, working every day. I'm losing weight, but I'm gaining muscle because I'm squatting, lifting, and bricking and all that. But then my leg gets hurt and so I'm not doing anything. So I'm starting to get atrophy and the muscles get smaller and start losing fat. And then, uh, without gaining muscle and then i get covid which covid you know affects your diet i don't like eating i force myself to eat you know but i don't like eating anyway but and now we you know being that i have covid it's even worse But I try to walk slow and move slow. One, because I have to. Actually, I pro I'm probably not even trying. I just know I have to, so I'm doing it. And the more I, the more I don't do anything, the more I see all the shit I gotta do. Or <laughs> you know, that I wanna do. We just bought a whole bunch. Of, I also took delivery on a couple of big old bags of grass seed because, you know, I mentioned in earlier videos how the lawn here has been practically drowned out and browned out because of the rainy season. But uh, Dot soaked the seeds today and, you know, we put in some of that hormone root growth or whatever and the water and all that, and she just got done spreading that all out. So we're trying to, um, well, it's not reseeding, it's overseeding is, I think, the term. We'll see how that goes. It should be just a few days, you might see sprouts. But the good thing is it's cool out, even though I'm sweating. I'm sweating because I'm sick. And, uh, well, you know, I don't have that big sore on my throat anymore I can pretty much swallow normal without kind of going Ugh. yesterday I felt a lot better for about an hour <laughs> and then and then this morning I woke up and I felt even worse but for the last two days I haven't been taking any aspirin or, or um, you know or these big purple big purple pills which are I think it's four 400 milligrams of 
cinnamophene or something and then and 325 of, of paracetamol like combined so it's a 725 milligram pill it, it went after I take it and I don't feel that I feel you know I feel decent but I think it has a hangover effect because damn man I don't you know I usually have a headache after I've taken that and I don't want that so I'm off the meds man oh. I'm off the meds and you know in tune with my body I want to feel what I feel so but this ain't no fun man long COVID I mean when I got it I expected oh yeah I'm gonna have it maybe day five or something kick it loose and get back on the stick but I ain't felt much different than I did on day one right now it's I don't even know how long have I had COVID dot Day, it's like day eight or some shit. I know that most everything we read said you could do, go from like five days to 14 days, you know, and then the other one said you could have long COVID, which would last like 30 days or even longer, like months. I'm like, oh my mother of God, please don't give me no months of COVID. Because for the better part of the day, usually this time of day is when I have most often felt okay during the mornings and even in the afternoon because right now it's like five or something I um, you know I can't pretty much do anything I just want to sit or lay down I can I can you know I'll watch videos but even then I have to slow down because tracking the, my when my eyes are tracking the videos or in the chat or something like that, I can feel that it it starts to get me dizzy. You know, my stomach starts to get upset, like I want to throw up. You know, like I'm on a roller coaster ride or something. Like you're like, mm. but yeah, that feeling of wanting to throw up is that's probably the biggest feeling that keeps me from doing anything because you get that nausea nausea that other time when I the first after the third day or something I thought I could do some work over there and that's when I re-poured that lentil and I um, and I put the foam around the or I would scrape foam around the window or no I maybe I put the foam in the window, I don't remember and I was on the ladder and I started feeling like, oh, I think I'm gonna fall over or something like, you know, dizzy or whatever. So I got down off the ladder, put my tools down and walked away. Cause I was all on this uneven ground out there, all the bricks and stuff on that side, on the outside. And I hurried and got away from there so I could sit down like on the porch out there and regroup. But I could still feel like I was gonna puke or something. And you know, I didn't feel good so I was like oh, oh and so I tried to walk you know expeditiously back to the house and get upstairs let my wife know uh, I wasn't doing good you know and I just went straight in the sh straight into the shower and my clothes on well my work shorts I'm sure whatever and just turned the shower on and sat on the floor just sat underneath the rain shower and breathed and I was rapid breathing, shortness of breath. I was still dizzy. I grabbed that Pepsi out of the, I grabbed Pepsi out of the fridge and just sucked that thing down, trying to get some sugar in there or something. I think I only had toast that morning, toast and coffee for breakfast. So I probably added to it, but I was a bummer, man. This is a bummer.
you know, I was making good headway on the shop, and I was, I was looking forward to breaking that barrier and, you know, getting to where I could put the screen coat on all that and skim it and everything, but that ain't happening anytime soon. Like I said, I barely put that lentil up on the rack. I think I'll, I'll the next thing I'll try and do is obviously I'll try and I could probably mix the cement enough for the lentil to get mounted up there and get that up there. I should be able to do that and then I'll run out of gas. Although it says most everything I read was saying that after after this after COVID like this, even when you test negative, uh, that you need to you need to you know chill for ten more days or whatever. Ah. It's killing me, man. Anyway. That's about it here from the Bon Knob. Where Uncle Craig is under the weather. Alright you guys, well just thought I'd share a little update and uh, keep you posted. So thanks for watching. Keep watching. We'll get back at you. Thank <laughs> you.